dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. Amber Warriors. Anderson Brothers in the 70s. 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the head east ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Their songs have power, huh? <laughs> the Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. The Old Gods of Asgard, 1975 Ragnarok Tour. We be awed by Celestial Wrath and Fury. Seattle, Bakersfield, Long Beach, New York City, Newark, Detroit, Jacksonville, Baton Rouge. Sick. Okay, but first I need to kill this guy. Oh, he got zapped, bruh. Hell yeah. Okay, now I don't want to get zapped by that shit either. <laughs> Let's go around. Man, this game has really picked up in intensity. I love it. Um... Geese. 
producers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, we sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Of course you are, Barry. You would. Be careful, Al! I think I already have a heavy duty lantern. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. Are you saying we have to know? Other irons. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Run. Oh, fuck. You want some?
Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hey, let's go, man. I think there was shotgun ammo upstairs, but I don't know if I can get to it now. Nah, it's locked. Valhalla. Place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. A Viking farm. What a what a combination. You're gonna have to push it open again. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this. Uh. Old gods know the truth. Stairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Fireworks. You know, this place looks kind of lifted. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding. Those guys sound awesome. Come on, Al, let's get the lights on, huh? The mystery of the missing Again, week. Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Yep, that's in the beginning of the game. Where we went out to the dock and then she got kidnapped inside. CW, Cynthia Weaver. Cynthia Weaver and uh, Thomas Zane. Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? Don't do it. You're gonna regret that. I'm a writer, god damn it. Correct. <laughs> if I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? 
feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. They make it with freaking water from the lake, bros. You morons. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. This is a flashback of when Alice was taken. And we're the observer from the manuscript page. We're the observer. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out of body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remember being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice, Alice would have Alice. never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. This is the missing week. Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. This is really cool. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere, maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing. Now, the study is where the freaking typewriter is. Dude, why does the clock say 9-11? You are guilty. All she wanted that was is, to help you right. That is creepy as fuck. You killed her. No! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back.
No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobwebs she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zeng was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. This story is getting crazy. My a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Nightingale? Oh, shit. What an episode. That was a really great episode. Alright, guys. Well, that's the end of episode four. When we continue, we will see what... I believe that's Nightingale has for us and we will continue working through the darkness trying to defeat it and seeing how the story is going to conclude so anyway guys my name is free nachos thanks as always for stopping by and i'll see you on the next episode story would make her more and more powerful some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story together we can create something absolutely wonderful the lake it, it does something to the works of art created here it makes them come true my mom gave me this old light switch the clicker alice is being kept in a dark prison i need to find cynthia weaver to fix this it's your fault and you're gonna pay for it the clicker that reminds me of the light switch from uh Control. We hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Walkery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh. Always in the light. Hello. Hello. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth Ugh. oh wait we're in jail now oh, ow. <laughs> ow, this is not good that about sums it up 
I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, we're Al, but we're stuck here. Right They're not yeah, gonna... even interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there? Brett Easton Ellis, huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get... Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh my god! Yeah. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh, oh thanks, man. girl. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Nightingale attacked by the Dark Nightingale Presence. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it, but it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. <laughs> it wasn't the booze that made his mind real. <laughs> Alright. Come on, Sarah. Help me, girl. to know what do you need from me they can be hurt in the light only in the light and i need to find cynthia weaver she can help me stop this light check cynthia she lives in the old decommissioned power plant i can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper come on she lives the in the old decommissioned power plant that's not suspect as fuck wheeler i need you to stay here what no we're going to fetch our ride but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me, though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I can order one, Al? 